Hello everyone, welcome to the course of business forecasting. Today we will discuss the details of ARIMA process. In the previous session, we discussed the concept of ACF and PACF. These two concepts we will use today to illustrate the ARIMA process or say ARIMA process. Now let us start first with the basic model of ARIMA that is called autoregressive process. So in general in ARIMA there are four process, one is called the AR process, autoregressive process, today we will illustrate that first and then the next model is called moving average process, this moving average is not same as moving average of time series data, this is a different concept of ARIMA. So then we will study the moving average process of ARIMA, these two are independent model AR process and MA process, both are part of ARIMA and then we will extend the concept of AR and MA into ARMA process, autoregressive moving average process. This is also you know combination of AR and MA, how it has been developed that also we will understand and then we will go to the ultimate model that is called ARIMA, autoregressive integrated moving average process or model. Remember all four model that you need to study as a part of ARIMA required SCF and PACF autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function. Why it is required that I have discussed in the last session. Today we will also illustrate it because today we are going to discuss the ARIMA models, right. So let us start with first model that is called autoregressive process. Now when it comes to the autoregressive process or AR model, remember we are focusing on time series. Our data are time series data and in time series data you need to use regression and you do not have any independent variable. Remember in regression what we do? In regression, in regression we use independent variable and dependent variable, right? We have the data sets and we put the line or feed the line say alpha plus beta x, right? This way we develop our regression analysis and we also find the correlation coefficient among the data between the independent variable and dependent variable and illustrate the concept of regression. This is what basic regression or you can extend that to multiple regression also when you have more than one independent variable. Say you know if you have one more variable say you can fit another regression, another multiple regression model where say you know you will have another variable say. So this way you can fit your regression. Now we are not focusing on regression but we will use the regression concept in time series. That means when you have a time series data, time series data say y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6 dot 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 say. With this data you need to use regression. Therefore we call it as a auto regression. It can be 1 lakh time series data that means AR model of order 1, it can be AR model of order 2 or lag 2, it can be AR model of order 3 and further. The question here is that how the mechanism works, why we call it as autoregressive model and how regression comes into the picture of AR process of ARIMA. Remember AR model is the most important model of ARIMA process. If you understand the AR process, actually major majority of the understanding of ARIMA process are done. So we need to concentrate on understanding the AR process effectively. Now as I mentioned, we are not going to discuss the regression at all here, but the concept of regression because we do not have independent variable here, it is a time series data and you need to use AR model or say ARIMA model. Now the concept of regression need to use here to fit a AR model of time series data on time series data remember. Now one understanding I can share with you, suppose you have a data of say time series, say you know any say uh, temperature data or say you know some uh, demand data or whatever which to some extent are stationary and you need to use the AR process. Remember one assumption that you know generally AR process or MA process are being effectively used for stationary data. If the data are non-stationary then can't we use the ARIMA model? or AR process, we can use, there is a concept called you know differencing process, the integrated concept will come, we will discuss that under ARIMA model, the ALTIMA model, when 
the data will be non stationary and how to convert non stationary data into stationary data and then how can you call the AR process, MA process or ARMA process. So, for the time being our assumption is that data are stationary and we will be using AR process or MA process or ARMA process right, non stationary part we will discuss later. Now, when you have a stationary time series data say and you need to use AR process or AR model, what is the mechanism to develop it? Suppose you have a time series data and you need to fit the AR process. Look at the general formula first understand the basic formula. So, here is the general formula of auto regressive model. Your auto data past lag, look at the past lag. Suppose you want to fit say Y5 say, your Y5 will be say look at the formula here. It will be alpha plus say you know beta of Y4. So, this is what your formula say if you consider 1 lakh time series AR process like AR process of order 1. So, the concept is how it has been developed. In general formula is that if you have a P lakh last P lakhs here I have shown you all up to 3 lakh or 3 period lag means it is a older period like you know today temperature day before yesterday's temperature day before yesterday's temperature 2 3 days back data. So, these are called lag or time series data old time series data and that you need to use to fit your future forecast or future your AR process. Therefore, we call it the auto regressive model because auto data we are using. So, let us see suppose here you have a general model which consider say up to order P and these are the simple illustration of three different uh, initial model. Now, how these models are developed let us understand through a illustrative example and the concept also. Here you can see uh, like the previous model that I have explained. So, here you can see we have taken only one order AR process only one order only like today's stock price or say today's temperature or today's gold price will depend on yesterday only for the time being look at here only this model we will be trying to illustrate first then you can extend up to two order AR process three order AR process and further you can also extend up to P order. But now let us understand with a basic AR model of order 1 let us understand that. So, P notes the P denotes the the order of a AR model look at here P denotes the order of a AR process right. So, that P you need to find once you understand the AR process next question will be what is the order of the model that will be finalized that you need to identify also that we will discuss later. Now, let us discuss this with some numerical example. So, that we can understand the process of AR in a effective manner. So, you have taken the same TCS data like the way we have illustrated the SCF and PSF concept. So, same TCS data of last 3 months we have taken say and the other data closing price of October to December of 2023 say. So, this data we will use to illustrate the AR process right. Now, let us come here how the AR process works. Look at the screen now. First as I mentioned suppose you have the time series data right time series data say Y this is the stock price say say Y T you can say. So, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8, y9, y10 dot 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 you have the data set. Suppose up to y10 we have taken suppose here we have taken the almost 90 days data the 3 months data, but suppose here I have listed this data here right here you can see total 3 months data we have taken. Now, what you do you consider the lag one order lag right we are discussing one order lag now of air process. So, what you do you copy the data you can see the excel also here the screenshot I have kept here for your quick understanding copy the data and paste one row below for the time being understand and then suppose we will write y t minus 1 say this is what yesterday data say yesterday data right suppose for your understanding this is today's data and you copy and paste them just one row below look at now just it is one row below like this suppose suppose you have say 10 period data though we have 3 months data but the, for the time being say. Now, you have pasted you can do that right in excel you can do it just but one row below and then you delete this row and the last row. What happens if suppose you have a sufficient amount of data now you can observe here that you have a set of data of y t and y t minus 1 that means, today this is all today and yesterday everywhere where you are suppose you are here wherever you are suppose you are at y 7 if this is your today your yesterday was y 6 right you can see the data your yesterday was like this you can imagine this. So, this way you have 
copied and pasted the all the data in the second column by one row below. What the advantage we will get from here? Since we need to run the regression, since we need to run the regression and computer does not understand whether it is a same data time series data or it is a different independent variable data. Now what we will do, we will ask the computer or ask the you know excel that draw or in python whatever software you will have to use to run the regression that please run the regression for this data as x and this data as say y. So now excel has independent variable and dependent variable because excel does not understand that it is your same data right. So excel only know that this is one set where I am being instructed as you can see the independent data sets and this as a dependent data sets. So now once you consider these two data like all yesterday data which are in second column as x independent variable and consider the same data it is a trick and it is the same data as your original data as your y or say dependent variable it is become a regression. You run your regressions you will get a regression line say y t equals to alpha plus beta y t minus 1 this is the representative right or you can write x also this this is what yesterday and this is your today. So this is general structure now you found a regression model but this regression model is based on all yesterday data now you have fit a regression this regression is nothing but AR model of order 1 simply this model is called the AR model of order 1 what it is called regression but not regression it is a auto regression because here your data are auto data that is it simple regression you are doing simple regression but since your auto data you have considered therefore we call it as a auto regression model. But how many past lag you have considered how many past data you have considered in your regression model it is a regression model of order 1 simple linear regression therefore we will call it as a AR model of order 1. So order of the model is also been given here so AR1 this is what simply AR process and this is the basic concept of AR process here you can see we have developed that we have taken the data and 1 lakh below 1 row below the data we have copied then we have considered this as independent variable this as a dependent variable this is your dependent variable and this is your independent variable right. Now you consider them as your regression to your regression formula and you run the model you will get your AR model of order 1 come here look at if you run the model you will get if you run the excel here I have shown you if you run the excel you will get the regression model because excel won't understand that it is the same data auto data excel will consider that it is a independent variable it's a dependent variable and excel will come out with the prediction and here is the prediction look at this is your you know intercept intercept and the slope if you consider them you will find your AR process regression model or you can say auto regression model of order 1 because you have taken only one order only yesterday look at here this is what your AR model AR process that is it. Now you can calculate the error of your model also like you know you can calculate the RMEC total error and then the mean square error and then the square root of it you will get the RMEC also for your safety purpose you can keep it the how uh, strong your model is but generally you know this type of ARIMA models are being measured either through RMEC or through AIC AKIC information criteria. So for the time being we are not focusing on the AIC calculations we will be using the RMEC model that our RMEC is this and this model predicts this forecast right. Now the question here is that this is the AR process simply regression you have done but you have considered the same data with a trick of considering them as your independent variable like this are, these are called a dummy independent variable you do not have any x and y you do not have any x and y but you have considered your regression in a tricky manner by using the same data therefore we call it is a auto regression with your past lag. Now the question here is that the question here is that okay it is fine that we have considered the auto regression we understood the AR model of order 1 but it is a stock price right or say temperature or say gold price or say crude oil price whatever wherever you want to use say you know the AR process or ARIMA process why you have considered why we have considered only 1 lakh 
it can be more than one lakh also right why it will be dependent only on yesterday stock price of tcs or any 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 company may not be dependent only on yesterday it might have a dependency on day before yesterday also two days back also now let us think about that the stock price of a company will not only fully dependent on yesterday or one lakh back it might depend on two days back data or day before yesterday also yes we can do that also in that case what you do you copy the data this is a notation capital y right t minus 2 two days back data you just copy the main data and paste them in the second column in the third column from here so here it is y1 here it is y2 here it is y3 here it is y4 here it is y5 y6 y7 y8 y9 y10 say suppose you have the data you can do this also you can create one more column here and you can fit the data now what you do you delete these two row now let me use my and and this row as it is last two row last this this data and this data let me use my you know highlight point so that you know i can so you suppose this data you delete this two row and last two row you delete right you just delete it erasing now you have a sample data like this consider this as your today let me open the pane again consider this as your today this is your today look at here this is this data is your today data this data is your yesterday data and this data is your day before yesterday yesterday so what happens now since we come up to the observation that the stock price or temperature or crude oil price will not depend on only on the previous day data or previous period data or time period it might depend on day before yesterday one two days back data also so in that case we are considering that my stock price since we are taken example we have taken example of says tcs stock price so let us discuss the concept through stock price itself otherwise you can extend that concept to any other practical example as per your project or as per your requirement right or the industrial data so now let us think about that so you have a stock price of actual data and then your yesterday data this this become second row second uh, column has become your all yesterday and then the third column has become of has become it's a next variable second independent variable here you can say this is x1 and this is x2 and this is your y say but it is auto data all are auto data but now you you consider them as your second independent variable because you we assume that my stock price will depend on not only on yesterday it may depend on day before yesterday also now you have a sample same sample data since you have a large amount of data initial two row if you delete and the last two row if you delete it will not have much impact so you have a good amount of data now you consider this look at this this look at this one this data you consider as independent variable and ask excel to run the multiple regression now multiple regression now right regression so two variable two independent variable will come what are them dummy two independent variable yesterday and day before yesterday and day before yesterday right so this is your today yesterday and day before yesterday right so you consider this as one independent variable and second uh, last column as your second independent variable and first middle column as your uh, first independent variable so you have two independent variable say x1 and x2 right and you have the y you run the regression multiple regression you will get the output also in that case your regression model will be will not be like this in that case your regression model will be yt hat equals to alpha say say new alpha it will not be the same alpha a value will change beta 1 yt minus 1 plus beta 2 y t minus 2 because you have two independent variable now because simple regression multiple regression you are doing it but effectively your auto data this is called ar process this is called ar model of order 2 so you got to know the ar model of order 2 also this is also auto regressive model because auto data you have considered this is what the ar process of order 1 ar process of order 2 you can extend the concept if you think that no my stock price will not depend on not only yesterday and day before yesterday it might depend on two days back data also so in that case you can fit the reg multiple regression we call it the auto regression model of order 3 also here i have mentioned all them here you can see now 
year model of order 1, year model of order 2, year model of order 3. So here you have taken 3 days data, old data, lakh, 3 lakhs. Yesterday, day before yesterday, 2 days back data. If you have fit your model. Now you will, this alpha will not be the same, it will change, the parameters value will change, but this is a general structure that you can fit a year model of order 1, 2, 3 depending on your requirement and the company's data and the, your industrial requirement. You can fit the AR process. But remember all this we have done for stationary data. Now the question is that okay, we can fit the AR model using the same data through regression but it is auto regression by considering them as a dummy independent variable of order 1, order 2, order 3 this way you can fit it. I will show you in Excel also and you can develop it. Look at here. So this, this structure here you can see the how to consider the lag of order 1 and then how to fit it. Let us complete this process also then I will come back to you know the order selection of your process. Let us complete this. So come back to Excel. Here you can see let us complete the AR process detail understanding. Here you can see we have the same data like 3 month data of TCS closing price here we have listed here I have you can if you you know uh, like you know unhide this you will get all uh, 3 months data. Now just we have copied the data and pasted one row below. Look at here. We have copied the data and just one. Look at 3513. Look at here. Let me use my pen here. So this data we have copied here, right? And we have just pasted the data. So this is what the first lag data we have copied. Now what do you do? How to fit the regression and find the error model? Let us see also. Simple regression we will need to use. So why input? Y input will be your this data from second row onwards you have to consider this much and then your x input will be from here this is your y1 actually then y2 y3 up to you know just do not consider the last data because you have copied the data one row below and you need a pair of data to fit a regression and then we have not selected the label like uh, the tag or the label caption so we will not select the label output directly will run and output data suppose suppose we will put say here say suppose here right we will find the forecast here look at the intercept and slope so this intercept and slope maybe little ch changes might be there this intercept and slope you need to use as alpha and beta this will be your alpha this will be your beta and you can fit the line yt equals to alpha plus beta yt minus 1 because yt minus is your first a lakh. So, this is your AR model, AR model of order 1. That is it. Now, you can extend the data to order AR model of order 2, AR model of order 3 also. This way you can also develop your AR process. Clear? Now, here also you can see whether the P is significant or not. Look at the P is quite good significant. So, you can use the AR model here for this type of this data also. So, we could see that the P is quite good and very less and it is significant. So, you can fit the AR process through so this concept also about R1 for this type this data set. Now, come back to the main model and uh, suppose if you look at this data and if you unhide the data say for this time being look at here same output we found earlier before I brought this Excel to the session. Look at intercept and slope and you can fit the forecast also. Now the question is that how we will fit the forecast here as I mentioned look at the formula here. This formula we will be using here say. So you can see it is nothing but let me write it here again. It is nothing but equals to alpha intercept plus slope into the previous period. What is your previous period? Suppose you want to forecast to say you know for the next day TCS stock price this, 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 is, this will be your say next day. So you can like yt minus 1 previous day lag forecast. Now next you want to forecast suppose next day again this plus slope into this is your now yesterday now you just dragging the data formula this is your next forecast. So, you can drag it whenever you have data in the middle, you can also cross verify whether your forecast is right or wrong. That RMS we have calculated, we have taken the square of error, the error difference and then we have taken the square of them and then we have considered the RMSE also for the sake of understanding the MAC and the, if you take the square root of it, you will get the RMSE. This is the MAC value and if you take a square root of it, you will get the 
square root of this, you will get your RMAC value. So this is what I have mentioned in PPT. So this is the overall process of AR, AR process of order 1, lag 1 with forecast, with regression model, forecast value as well as the error part, RMAC part. Now if you extend it to AR model of order 2, order 3, you just copy the data, just copy this data and paste it with one row below here, suppose here with one row again create another column and just paste there, you will be able to get say just copy this data and paste one row below from here say, paste value. So now you have look at this is say lag 2 say, lag 2. So now you start from here, you delete this data, you delete, the, uh, sorry, you delete these data sets and the below data also. And you have now a sample data, look at here, sample data of say 3 months of this year, almost you know just only 2 periods data you have removed, so not a matter. This data you now take and carry forward your multiple regression of order 2 because you have considered yesterday and day before yesterday as your two independent variables. In that case, this will be your lag 1 as it is, this will be your lag 2, lag 2. So you consider these two data sets, these data sets and these data sets. This is your x1, this is your x2 and this is your y. You fit the data with this, you fit your regression model, multiple regression, you will fit, you will get the AR model of order 2. In that case, your forecast will be alpha plus beta 1 say pi t minus 1 like this lag data a formula will come in their structure with new new input data and corresponding intercept here you will get one more variable right the slope plus beta 2 into say x2 here it is y t minus 2 say day before yesterday data AR process of order 2 is done also this is what the detail of AR model now let us come back to PPT again. Now the question here is that very important part, okay, we understood the AR model in detail, but what would be the final order of your model? How many pass lag you would like to consider in your model? Will it be a 1 lag, 2 lag, 3 lag? How will identify it? How will optimize it? Or how will finalize it? This is the most crucial part of AR process or ARIMA process. Let us understand the concept of ACF and PACF. In the last session we have discussed detail of it, but we will recall that here. To, uh, to, uh, to calculate or to finalize the p-value, the order of AR process. We understood the AR process. Now, remember, if you fit a AR model of order 1, this is a regression, right? You will find the correlation between the yesterday and day before yesterday. This is your AR model of order 1. You will find the correlation coefficient also, say, between this data, like, you know, let me write here also, suppose y and y t minus 1, right? This is your actual data y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, dot, dot, dot. Here it is y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, dot, dot, dot. And then you have taken the data and suppose you have fit your AR model of AR1. AR model of order 1 say alpha yt equals to alpha plus beta yt minus 1 say. And you will find the correlation coefficient also in Excel. You can calculate the correlation coefficient in detail we have discussed in the previous sessions. Suppose you will find the correlation coefficient, say 0.8, between the yesterday and today's data, between this data and that data. You can create the formula of correlation coefficient and in Excel you will find it. Now the question here is that these correlation coefficient are not simple correlation coefficient. This is auto correlation coefficient. Remember, we have discussed detail in the last session with the same TCS data. This is called auto correlation coefficient. I think we found 90 percent around, remember, or 95 something, 95 percent dependency are there. So, like today's closing price will have a big impact of tomorrow's opening price of TCS. So it will be dependent heavily. Now this called this data, this correlation coefficient are called the auto correlation coefficient. Simple correlation formula, but we will call it the auto correlation coefficient. What you do? You draw your correlogram. Detail we have discussed. So this is your time lag, right? With say 0, with say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. This is your SCF. You draw it, create your correlogram so that you can understand how to draw your how to finalize your p-value, the order of AR process. Very crucial discussion, you know, concentrated here. So now, with the same data, if you consider the same data, 
if you don't paste with the one row below with the, if you paste with the same row and if you create a calculate your correlation coefficient it will be one right with the same data correlation coefficient will be always one with same data with zero lag same data so here it will be one say one we are not interested about that what we are interested here is that let me draw this here it is one say so now one say now we are focusing on our the auto correlation with one lakh like this for this this model we found say from the previous session you can refer or you can use excel and you can calculate the auto correlation as say 0.95 suppose or 90 percent say so you fit this correlation value auto correlation value in this graph say suppose here it is say 0.9 or say 95 whatever this is what your scf the correlogram you are drawing now if you extend the model AR model of order 2 suppose this you may find a correlation coefficient also between today and day before yesterday we have calculated remember we have uh, you know calculated that the auto correlation of order 1 order 2 etc of lags suppose if you consider the two days lag like stock price will depend on day before yesterday also in that case what will be a auto correlation coefficient right in that case it will not be the as much as 0.95 or 90 percent it will be less early if i remember suppose it was a 90 percent right earlier was a 90 then 90 percent or 86 percent whatever then suppose you draw that 86 or 90 whatever suppose you found here this is suppose 0.86 suppose if i remember 0.86 or something suppose that you put here this is what the correlation between today's stock price and day before yesterday stock price two days lag so p2 for p2 for p2 you found say the correlation value auto correlation value now if you consider that two days back data in your regression auto regression model and in that case you want to calculate the correlation coefficient or auto correlation coefficient between we are using correlation but it is effectively auto correlation because it's auto data time series data no regression now if you consider calculate the auto correlation between today and two days back data you will get it remember that calculation process simple auto correlation you can find in that case suppose it was say say 0.7 suppose i forgot it suppose 0.7 you note down it you draw the graph here four days back data you can consider like this this graph is called a cf function we have discussed detail in the previous session now the question here is that now how will select the p from this graph how many past period you want to consider and fit your final model here what is your final model of time series data and you should conclude that this is a air process detail understanding and the p selection are done so we can wind up the air process understanding no not done yet the problem here is that you cannot select your p or the order of your final air model from the scf graph you have to select it from the pacf graph this is a very interesting part time lag say this is pacf remember we have discussed detail of pacf for the tcs data itself why it is required because you know PSF is nothing but the partial autocorrelation function partial autocorrelation here you remember you when you consider say, stock price of same data same time parameter or same variable say there is a big dependency right like stock price of today has a high dependency on yesterday stock price of today might have a dependence on day before yesterday also but since it is a auto data yesterday and day before yesterday has a correlation so therefore this direct correlation you cannot take here because there is a like you know yesterday was a today sometimes it was a today and day before yesterday was a yesterday also because if you go back the data the logic will be like this so therefore sometimes you have to understand that for time series data you cannot select the direct acf value in your calculation process the reason here is that in time series data your interdependency of past lags are there but this is simple multiple regression right though it is auto regression but it is simple multiple regression look at the second formula it is a multiple regression of order 2 third one it is a multiple regression of order 3 so when you run a multiple regression your minimum concept is that there should not be multicollinearity there should not be any multicollinearity we have discussed detail in multiple regression model so here you are getting multicollinearity though you are fitting regression or say auto regression or multiple regression but multicollinearity are coming because yesterday 
has a dependency on day before yesterday. Day before yesterday has a dependency on two days back data also. But that all of them you are considering to calculate your two-day stock price. So if you want to consider actual regression, this is a multiple regression. You are doing multiple regression. But since we are doing a basic regression, therefore you need to find you you need to maintain the guidelines. the mandatory requirements of multiple regression also what is the mandatory requirement the multicollinearity should not be there among the data multicollinearity should not be there among the data but here you have a multiple collinearity because it is auto data huge dependency are there because yesterday was depend on day before yesterday so therefore since you have a multicollinearity involvement in the time series data in air process therefore you cannot select the order of your model from direct psa graph the dependency this is the dependency right correlation auto correlation here you can see 95% here is 86% here is 70% too much of dependency are there but it is a fake dependency because interdependent like you know multicollinearity is involved here you take the actual dependency actual relationship actual linear relationship linear relationship and that can be calculated from psef partial correlation actual impact remember refer the last session that we have discussed about it so now in this case what will happen here like i can give you one more example suppose you know you need to take a decision where your all decision past decision depends on your father's opinion say and you can fit a regression this is simple linear regression it's fine but now when you consider your math suppose you would like to consider your mother's opinion in your decision making also now you have two dependent independent variable one is your father's opinion another is your mother's opinion and you need to you need to fit your multiple regression like dependency relationship among your opinion based on your father's opinion and mother's opinion you can fit your multiple regression but in case if you for the sake of illustration in case you find that your mother's actually depends on your father's opinion so her all decision depends on your father's opinion in that case there is a multicollinearity so you cannot take the full opinion of your mother for father's opinion you can take but for mother's opinion you cannot take full opinion you need to you need to take the partial opinion that that is called multicollinearity or to some extent the partial correlation coefficient or in multiple regression why you cannot take the entire opinion of independent variables in case they are correlated same concept you need to use here also in time series data when you have considered the past lags you make sure that you consider the partial relationship among the partial impact of it not the full because there is a interdependency among yesterday and day before yesterday so they were sometimes yesterday today and yesterday so therefore that direct impact you cannot take here right so here what we will do you will calculate the first for the zero lag for the zero lag we are not discussing say zero lag we are not discussing we are considering only the first lag so let us let me delete that also anyway since we have drawn here we will keep as it is we are not discussing that for one lag we will start Is it is like yesterday? It is say point nine say nine five say. We'll take take it as it is like yesterday data and this and today. Now day before yesterday, impact you want to consider say here or here whatever here model of order two or order three. We are just fitting the PSF graph. Then we'll select the P. Now remember all this we are doing for P selection only. The how many pass lag you want to consider? Look at the climax will come now. Now when you go to the Day before yesterday, you have to take partial opinion. How to calculate the PSA? We have discussed, you know, the detailed calculation. You can refer that. Suppose we found the PSA here earlier case. You can see the second day, like you know, correlation or correlation was a point eight six. Now when you when you take remove the impact of say intermediate Y T minus one from Y T minus two and Y T, it will be like you know your partial impact of yes day before yesterday with current data, like day before yesterday the stock price, the impact of that on today stock price. will have a very less say 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 point say point 2 and then if you go back further older data older lag and in that case your impact may be point 0.01 maybe point 0.02 like this immediately it will fall this is what the psf then the concept here is that you draw your band line how many pass lag you want to consider a yeah, band line you create your threshold and if you find that that your positive with the clearly visible standing it can be negatively correlated also not a matter through example you will get to know suppose here you see how many clearly visible standing line you can see from psa graph not from sca graph from your psa graph suppose here we found two line let me put a different color suppose here we found two line the first one you don't need to calculate because it's auto data so lag 1 and lag 2 you found with clearly visible standing line so here p equals to 2 so you fit your model air model of order 
that's it because you found only two clearly visible standing line who who is having a clear impact the past lag this is the lag yesterday data and their impact of today and this is the day before yesterday data and their impact on today's stock price but after that you can see the impact is very less because psa value has very less closure to zero and it is falling in between your band line or say threshold line epsilon interval so you can exclude them you don't need to include that so therefore in air process the p selection the order of air selection of air model should be selected from the should be read from the psa graph not from the scf graph because these correlation are not correct these are auto correlation and multi correlation is involved here therefore you cannot take that data and fit your AR model in that case you might find a infinite number of data you might need to like in a huge amount of data 10 period 20 period 30 period because there will be an exponential decay of data and how many period you want to consider this is a wrong calculation you cannot consider it as your wrong not wrong calculation this is a wrong way of selecting your auto regression model so you have to select your AR model final AR model by reading your PSCF graph you will always 99 percent case you will see that in case your model the data follow air process we have not discussed the ma and arma detail now we are concentrating on air you will find that most of the times your psa graph will fall after one or two period or maybe maximum three period so there you stop after that sudden fall look at here scf will have exponential decay and first p terms of psf will have a significant difference from zero outside the parallel line outside the parallel line after that there will be sudden fall sudden fall will be there because partial impact after if you go back to the old data like 10 days ago what happened with the tcs price that might not have a much impact of today's stock price maybe couple of period will have a huge impact so you don't need to go to the 10th period of older data and you need to fit your model you can see the you know movement of the data but overall in order to fit your arima model you need to take couple of period and to see the clear impact for short term trade trading etc it will have a great impact of air process right so this p selection of air process has to be taken from psf not from scf because psf gives the actual correlation of your previous lags the correlation how it is impacted or how it has been explained with the past data so that you should select from your psf graph not from the scf graph but the big two picture like scf and psf put together are called the correlogram and AR model should be read from the PSF not from SCF and PS SCF will have exponential decay in general and PSF will have a cut off sudden cut off sudden fall closure to zero. So then you select clearly visible line you will be able to see. So here you can see one example say say AR model suppose we will consider this model say AR model and this one AR model these two will discuss later we will discuss later. Now just focus this first model first graph so here you can see both scf and psf i have drawn in the same graph so here you can see scf and psf scf is the black line and psf is the white line now you see and threshold line you can see your threshold line is here because the threshold line is here so right so the white line the psf is just only one standing line you can see only one standing line is here look at look at this one the white one after that look at closure to zero look at closure to zero look at closure to zero closure to zero in between the you know threshold line so therefore in this graph both we have plotted in the same graph so therefore you can see from this if the data follow this type of pattern your time series data and you want to use some arima model in that case you select the air model of order one because pscf has only one cut up only one lakh the, the actual data with 100% you know correlation we are not plotted here we have plotted only the lag one onwards so you here you can see 50 percent impact after that closure to zero so you consider only ar model of order one and look at the scf has a exponential decay look at the second graph here also you can see scf this also ar of order one this also ar model of order one you might say that sir can you give an example of ar model of order two yes you can draw a graph and you may draw you may get a model like in that case your suppose your pscf will be like this say and after that closure to zero and scf will have a pscf will be like this say and scf will have a exponential decay scf will have a exponential decay so in that case you select ar model of order 2 because here you can see two clearly visible standing line this way it can be negative way also if it is a negative standing line not a matter 
because data could be in different manner also like you know like seasonality pattern also etc so in that case sales might change quarter to quarter or month to month basis so in that case your ai you can extend the data with negative line also but clearly visible line should be there which will be outside your band line like close clear partial correlation impact should be there that's it and this is this is what are what is that this standing line these are nothing but the partial correlation correlation among the data how much it is impacted by the older data that's it that value you are calculating and from there you select your p maybe order one order two maximum order two three people take after that it does not go generally one or two is sufficient may not go to larger data with time series model this is what the scf and psa breeding and ar model now let us take a break after the break we'll discuss the ma process <laughs>